We're now going to cover the arteries and veins we can see on the torso model. We'll start with the heart. Three great vessels on the superior of the heart. PAS, PASS. Pulmonary trunk, aorta, superior vena cava, PAS. We can see now where the pulmonary trunk sends branches to the lungs. They're gonna be the pulmonary arteries. The only arteries shown in blue here are the pulmonary veins going back to the heart with oxygen, the only veins shown in red. Now, we can also see on the external of the heart, the coronary arteries and veins. I'm gonna take the front of the heart off. And we can see that the first branch off the aorta with that oxygenated blood is the coronary arteries. Right one and left one. Now let's follow the aorta. Remember on the left side, here's the apex, left side, we have a left common carotid and we have a left subclavian. The right side, we have this brachiocephalic trunk short from here to here and then it'll branch to the common carotid and subclavian here. Now, on this torso model, we can't see what happens to subclavian later, axillary and brachial. But we can follow the carotids up, and it's going to be common carotid until they split here. So it's hard to tell which one's going internal and which one's going external. They said the jugular is one. If you're wondering what this is, oh, this gland here is the thyroid gland, so that's the thyroid vein, and there would be an artery going there as well. On this head model, we can tell where the carotids split. So you can see here, common carotid coming up. This one's going to go deeper. So that's the internal carotid. This one would be the external. You can see it coming to the outside part of the head. These would be the jugulars. Sometimes they show them as two, coming off the brachiocephalic vein. Well, let's continue to follow the arteries now. Let's take this heart off. This was the ascending aorta and aortic arch. You can see the aortic arch now here arching and now going down. Because remember we said the aorta, when it starts going down, is the descending aorta. And that's going to go through this thorax. Thorax is from the neck to the diaphragm muscle. If you're always wondering what this brown structure is, that's the esophagus. Of course, this light blue structure is going to be the trachea and the bronchi of the lungs. Well, let's review. And there's going to be a branch off this thoracic aorta going to the lungs. They don't show it here. It's going to be a bronchial artery supplying the lungs with nutrition and oxygen and glucose. Don't confuse the, these as the bronchioles. They're the pulmonaries. They don't show the bronchioles here. But let's review now the abdominal organs and their placement before we show the arteries there. Liver on the right, there's a the gallbladder. Stomach and spleen on the left. Large intestines, small intestines. Now the pancreas would be right in here between the stomach and intestines. That's not it, that's actually some fat. But we're gonna go ahead and take this off liver and stomach so we can see the fish-shaped pancreas here. We'll take the intestines off now.
pancreas is still there and the large intestines are still there. There's our appendix. And we'll take all that off. And we still see the uh, kidneys here towards the back of the body. Now here comes that descending aorta, also called the thoracic aorta, comes through the diaphragm. Now we call it the abdominal aorta, or you can keep calling it the descending aorta. Three trunks coming off of there. CSI, I told you. Celiac trunk, superior mesenteric, inferior mesenteric. The celiac trunk is going to send three branches. One's going to go to the liver, it's going to be hepatic. One's going to go over to the spleen, splenic, you can see part of it here. And the other one's going to go to the gastric, which would be right in here. They don't show the branches very well off the celiac trunk. So just know for the torso part that that is the celiac trunk. It's going to supply blood, liver, stomach, and spleen. And in the superior mesenteric and inferior mesenteric, single trunks supplying blood to the intestines. Two bilateral sets, renal arteries there and there, and the long gonadals there and there. Then this abdominal aorta splits and becomes the common iliac, which remains the common iliac until that splits into internal iliac, external iliac. There's the sacral artery. This external iliac is going to exit the hip area and become the femoral here. And that's all we're going to see. We don't see the leg on this torso model. Now let's do the veins. Put the heart back here. So the veins, we have superior vena cava and we're gonna have inferior vena cava. They removed part of it between there and there. It's on the back side of the liver. So liver was here. That inferior vena cava went behind the liver this section. So the superior vena cava splits into brachiocephalic vein here, brachiocephalic vein here. From the brachiocephalic, we got the jugular vein and the subclavian vein. Same on this side, brachiocephalic vein, jugular, subclavian. They only show one jugular here. It does split up here, but again, you can't tell which is going Deeper, it looks like that one in this case would go deeper. So maybe that's the internal jugular, that's the external jugular. This is the uh, thyroid vein again. Down here in the abdomen, we don't have the three trunks off the inferior vena cava. What we have, still have a renal vein right and left and we have the long gonadal veins. Look like chain links. Now again, on this right side, the gonadal vein comes off the vena cava. But on the left side, the gonadal vein leads up to the renal. So the left gonadal vein is a little bit longer. And that's important actually because that's the reason the left testicle in males is always lower, hangs lower than the right testicle. And that's because it takes longer to drain the blood out of the left testicle than it does the right. The left testicle is always a little bit heavier. That's why right there. Now I had a lady that I showed this to, a whole class I showed it to, on the torso model. And he came in the next week and he says, Dr. Mason, I want you to know that what you said last week is true. I said, what did I say? She said his left testicle is always lower. I work in a nursing home and I checked all my patients 
And you're exactly right. It's 100% true. Anyway, back to the veins. So instead of having these trunks here in the vena cava, we're going to have the hepatic portal system, remember? So they don't show it on here. But what they do show it on is the underside of the liver. So I'm going to take this liver now. I'm going to flip it. And what we see here on the underside is the hepatic portal vein. Remember it's shown, let me get this liver to stay still here. If I can, I'm gonna have to invert it. The purple is the hepatic portal vein. And they're not showing it coming from the intestines, the stomach or the spleen, but it's gonna be feeding into this hepatic portal vein. Hepatic portal vein is gonna go into the liver. So all the blood, I'm gonna say it again, from the intestines, stomach, and spleen, is gonna drain into the liver to be detoxified, metabolized, and stored. And whatever's gonna be released back into the bloodstream is gonna be released through the hepatic vein on top of the liver here, and that's gonna drain into the inferior vena cava. Okay, so when you look at the liver, Look for the inferior vena cava, backside, top side, hepatic vein, underside, and purple, hepatic portal vein. That system replaces these three trunks here. Now, down here, see inferior vena cava splits into common iliac veins. Let's go to this one. Common iliac vein here. Where that splits, that's the internal iliac vein, external iliac vein. As soon as that exits the pelvic region, then we're gonna get the femoral vein. Now the femoral vein is gonna come on down the middle of the leg where the femur is, right? So that's all femoral. This one, remember, as it goes medial, that's gonna be that great saphenous vein goes all the way down to the foot. In case you're wondering what these white green are, these are lymph vessels in white and lymph nodes in the green. So that's pretty much it for the torso model. We can't see much more. 